here for the arraignment of, of 14 of the Hempstead 15. and they were spinning them in front of us, uh, you know, kind of maliciously bumping into us. And once we got on the sidewalk, um, the last thing I remember was cops suddenly pulling people away. And um, that's, you know, everything's kind of blank from there for me. Um, I ended up, next thing I remember was being dragged across the street uh, by a couple of police officers and uh, blood dripping from my face. This is what patriotism is. This is what democracy is. Expressing, dissenting, and expressing the opinion. What happened in court today was really basically nothing, except an attempt by the district attorney to separate people into smaller groups so that there wouldn't be the same appearance of a large crowd at the next court date. I don't know why cities and states and counties are so afraid of people engaging in lawful political protest. To the extent there was a hazardous condition created, it was created by the police not by individuals who were simply engaging in protected First Amendment speech. Some people were seriously injured by the use of these horses in a reckless and dangerous way. I'm a, I'll be I'll be brief. Um, I just want to thank everyone for coming out. First of all, in support of myself and my fellow Iraq veterans against the war. You know, I, I hope that a lot of you, especially from this area, are as appalled as I am at the actions of the uh, Nassau County Police Department and uh, the gross violations to the Constitution that uh, all of us veterans swore to protect and uphold yeah. against all enemies, foreign and domestic. I guess, you know, from here I'm, I'm a little, little frustrated. We all have separate court dates. Um, it makes it a, a little, uh, it's a little frustrating. Uh, Nassau County has added insult to injury. But I am, I am grateful and I am thankful and I am overwhelmingly happy to report that every single member of the Hempstead 15 pled not guilty today. <laughs> We are going to fight this thing out. This is unacceptable. We cannot be we cannot be brutalized and silenced and told that we don't have the right to oppose those who are taking away our rights and literally trampling everything that is to be American. Condemn, condemn the Nassau County Police Department for their trampling of Nick and others, and as well their their sneaky backdoor maneuvering to try and have us all tried on separate days to keep you from coming out and having your voices heard and our support. We are going to continue forcing this issue and we will not stop until the names of every single one of the Hempstead 15 are cleared and Nick Morgan sees justice. Stop, boss. <laughs> yeah.